guys, welcome back to another Anna Bite series. And today we're gonna be making something from The Sims 4. And this is something that I've made many of these things in the past, but I haven't actually made fish of these things. Can you guess what we're doing? I mean, obviously you probably know because of the title. We're gonna do fish tacos. <laughs> I've done all kinds of other types of tacos, but I've never actually done a good fresh fish taco. And The Sims has it in the game, so I just thought we're gonna we're gonna try it, make it in real life. You know, you can't go wrong with a good taco. So here we are. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited to hop into it. We got some beautiful cod fillets right here. They were actually only five dollars. I don't know, they're on sale. Or something. And then we got our avocado. We're gonna make an avocado uh, crema basically for it. And then we got a uh, cabbage slaw. So we got our Red wine vinegar, paprika, cumin, honey even for the slaw. You'll, you'll see, you'll see once we get to it. I promise it's gonna be amazing. Uh, the avocado, lime, cilantro. You don't have to do cilantro if you don't like it. I know a lot of people are anti-cilantro, that's okay. But it does add a really nice flavor to everything if you do it right, chop it up small. I don't like big chunks of cilantro, but little bits. So yeah, let us see how my Sim makes it in Sims 4, and then we'll come back to the kitchen and actually get to cooking over here. So I'll see you guys in just a minute, okay? Have fun. All right, we're gonna make fish tacos. It looks like my Sim is inspired and happy, so it should turn out pretty tasty. She's been our master chef this whole uh, series, so she's learning everything and she's like doing the best. So, okay, tacos. Oh. Oh, Jesus, okay. Um, I don't know why they're not using that. <laughs> why she's not making room because the microwave. Oh my God, this, that's fine. Totally fine. Yep, that's exactly what you need to do. All right, lots of chopping. What, tomatoes? How did that turn into a salmon? I don't even know half the time. All right. Not salmon. It looks like salmon. It's supposed to be cod. I'm so confused. Oh, look. Now it's not. All right. Cool. So this should be our fried fish tacos. I don't know why the microwave is so broken. Weird. All right. It looks decent. Pretty decent looking food, I guess. Why is there like, oh, it's limes. I was like, why is there apples on the plate? All right. I mean, it doesn't look great food wise, but... I mean, she's happy. She's enjoying it. I think mine are going to look way prettier than that. So we'll just, yeah, mine are going to look better. What do you think, girl? Woof, woof, woof. Shush. What are you barking at? Okay. Well, I guess that's about it. Let us go to the real kitchen and try to make them look and taste better than they do in The Sims. So yeah, let's go. We're gonna first start by getting our cabbage ready for our slaw. Cabbage is pretty thick. Probably should have got a bigger knife. There we go. All right, be smart. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. I'm just gonna cut up about half. It's only three of us eating tacos, so we're not gonna have a ton. I'm chopping this up. I am not a pro. I don't really know the best way of chopping cabbage, but I'm gonna, I guess, go like this. Finally slice it. I don't like when cabbage is in like really thick chunks, so I'm gonna cut it pretty fine. This Ikea knife works well. Okay, we're gonna throw this in a giant bowl. It smells kind of funny. Raw cabbage has a weird smell. Let's do this one. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of slaw. Oh well, it'll be fine. I'm gonna do like, not quite a half, maybe like a third of the cabbage. There you go. Just to add some color, because really there's not much difference. I think it is just for the color that we're doing the red. Cabbage. It does smell funny. Ugh. I guess I haven't really chopped up cabbage in a long time. It has a weird smell. That's normal, right? I mean, it's super fresh. I just bought it yesterday. I love like pickled red cabbage. You guys ever had that? You, usually like Middle Eastern places will have it. Of course I'm Turkish, so you know. Yeah, anything pickled really. 
pickled cauliflower, all delicious. Okay, there's our slaw. Well, the start of it, obviously I'm gonna mix it up a little. Oh, throw it on the floor, yep, that's fine. <laughs> mix it up so we get the chunks out too. Then we got nice color there. I don't want the core, now that that's somewhat mixed. We wanna get together our limes. So it says about two tablespoons, so I'm just gonna do one lime. Cut open our lime. <laughs> I was like, why is it like pink? Because of the cabbage. And then we just squeeze our lime into our slaw, get as much juice as we can out of it. This lime is gonna add nice acidity to dress the, the slaw. If you have like a juicer, you can do that too, but for lemons or limes, I usually just hand do it. Unless I need to do like a ton of them, you know? You know limes are more sour for me than like lemons. They're like bitter, right? Don't you love a good lime? Mm. These actually are quite sour. Lemons don't do that. To me, I can eat a lemon with a straight face, but they're more bitter. <laughs> and they tickle my throat more, <laughs> but it's fine. It's good. I love it. I love anything sour. Okay, now we're gonna chop up our cilantro. Nice and fine. A quarter of a cup, so not a lot, but we're gonna chop it up nice and small. Probably about half of this bunch of cilantro I'll chop up. Not parsley. There is a difference. I don't like parsley. I think I... I think I don't like parsley more than I don't like cilantro. So there's plenty of cilantro there. And then I'm just gonna chop it a couple more ways just to make sure it's as small pieces. All right, then we throw that into our slaw. And now we got some wildflower honey. I don't know, my parents had this in the cupboard. Seems nice. Mmm, smells honey too. Oh, I just got like a nostalgia from a eating those little straws filled with honey. Did you guys ever do that? I don't know, it was pretty pretty common when I was younger to do that. I haven't d had honey in a straw in a long time, but I remember it being a thing and being really good. Okay, now honey in a spoon. Oh, it's full. That's a lot. No, don't look at my face. Oh God, almost missed, but we got it in the bowl. We're good. All right, so just a little bit of honey. This will add some nice sweetness to counter the acidity of the lime. And then we're gonna do salt and pepper. A Little bit of pepper. I'm not doing a lot of pepper because my mom doesn't like pepper. You can add more. It's pretty much to taste. Just gonna sprinkle some in. Then we're gonna stir it up. You wanna know what we have the most of in this house? Tongs. My mom like collects them. All the different type of tongs that you could want. I could do something simple. I just like ones that are like this. I love this type of tong. This will be a tossing bowl. Slaw. Remember, it's got the honey, the lime, salt and pepper. And this is gonna be a real simple dress slaw. Might wanna add more lime, salt, or pepper based on taste. That's why we're doing it first, so it can soak up the lime and everything and have more flavor when we put it on the taco. All right, for the next step, we are gonna use our handy Ninja. This is like a really old Ninja thing. It's like an old blender. It makes shaved ice. It's amazing. These blades, look at them. They're, they're, they're crazy and they make shaved ice. But it works as a food processor, blender, whatever you want. And this is like the most simple one. And it's really cool because it's got like this little thing that goes on top and there's different sizes of these. I can't find the other sizes I have though. So we're gonna use a big one and then it just spins. It spins so fast too. And you just put pressure however much you want. So we're gonna do that. I have fun using this thing. It's the first time I've used it since I moved back home, so I'm excited. So now we're gonna do our avocado crema. This is gonna have avocado, garlic, cilantro, cumin, lime juice, red wine vinegar, and olive oil. So first we're gonna start by getting our avocado out. Did you know that the best way to get avocado out is with a spoon? So something like that. Ta-da! And then, well, actually, how places at restaurants do it. You'll cut it like this. I learned how to do it when I worked at Panera because we had to be like fast and efficient at getting avocado out, and I never knew the best way to do this. And there you go. Boom. Oh, I put it in the slaw. My bad. My mom's gonna freak out. It's supposed to go over here, not in the slaw. Silly. No, it's fine. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> she doesn't like avocado. She is missing out, but that's okay. Oh. Slippery avocado. Did you know you can also plant these and grow your own tree? I don't know how to do it, but I've heard of people doing it. I mean, really, you don't have to cut it. I just I just like cutting it. I think it's like satisfying to cut it like this and then scoop it out. This avocado is actually perfectly ripe. I'm so happy. I remember having to work with avocado that was like still hard. They're the worst to try to cut open. There we go. Avocado in the thing. This one is a little overly ripe, but it won't kill you if it's a little brown. It's not terribly bad. Perfect. 
This one has a huge pit. Holy cow. That one's a smaller avocado with a bigger pit. What the heck? I love avocado. I don't know why my mom dislikes it so much. Some people don't like how mushy it is, I guess. I don't know. All right, we got our garlic. It says one clove, but I'm never shy of using garlic. So we're gonna use a couple. We love garlic in this household. Our garlic is just gonna go in their hole because it's gonna get food processor, basically. Anyway, so that's easy. Then we're gonna chop up the rest of the cilantro. I kind of almost forgot that I had to use it again. Well, actually, we don't even need to chop it up. We're just gonna food processor, basically. That's going in there. Again, don't skip out on the cilantro, at least in the crema, because guacamole, usually it has cilantro in it, and it's not as bad as like just straight raw pieces of it. So if you can handle it, put cilantro in there if you're gonna omit it from the slaw. Then we're gonna do our cumin and other spices, just a quarter of a teaspoon. Spoon. A little bit goes a long way with cumin, so definitely be careful with that, but you really do want to have it for this dish. And then we need more lime juice. I almost forgot we do need more lime juice, so we're gonna squeeze a little bit more in there. And I'm just doing the full lime. So basically three limes for this recipe, two for the slaw, one for the avocado. Then you're gonna need two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. One, two, one tablespoon or one gallon of olive oil from Costco. Just one tablespoon. Just buy in bulk, because we use so much of it. Every night we have a salad. My dad uses olive oil in it, so we buy a lot. All right, and now we got all our ingredients in our Ninja or food processor, and then we just blend it till smooth. And you'll see how quickly this does it. You can pulse it, you can hold it down. You can make it more chunky if you like, but I'm gonna make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm also gonna scrape down the sides so I can get all that lovely stuff at the top there mixed in well too. Easy, but it's about done. Super simple. Okay, I think that's ready. What do you guys think? Ooh, guacamole blades. Let's see how it tastes. That's actually really nice, holy crap. <laughs> Yes, I love a good avocado. Like, ah, oh, I like the tanginess from the vinegar and the lime. I did put a little bit of salt. So at the very end, before you blend it, you wanna salt it and then you can salt more to taste, but I would definitely don't over salt it until you've tried it. I think I did just right amount. I'm proud. Now we're gonna get a small bowl and get the seasonings ready to coat our fish with. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of powdered garlic, not garlic, salt. I know that's another common thing, but this is actually crushed garlic. One teaspoon of paprika. The recipe I found said use smoked paprika, but I don't have smoked paprika, so we're doing normal paprika, and I'm sure it's gonna be just as good. And we're gonna do half a teaspoon of cumin, all the cumin, and then half a teaspoon of sea salt. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm doing a very small, quarter of a teaspoon, because I know my mom doesn't like pepper, but we gotta have it in the seasoning, okay? It'll be all right, mom, you'll love it. And then we're just gonna stir it together so it's somewhat combined. Come on, paprika, why are you chunky? There we go, and there's our rub for our fish. Beautiful. All right, so we got our cod fillets. These are the three that came in the package. I think they look pretty nice. And then we're just gonna season them, pat them lightly with our mixture here. Try to get it coated evenly all the way around. And we are gonna season both sides of it. Perfect. Look at that. Fish is ready. Now you're gonna wanna make sure your skillet is turned on to medium high heat. And once that gets hot enough, we'll be ready to throw them in the pan. Right, and you're gonna wanna put some olive oil in the pan. We're not like frying, frying it, so just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. All right, it does look like the pan is hot enough, so let's throw our fish on. Maybe a little hot, but that's okay. It'll cool down pretty quick. Couple more minutes on this side. Now that the fish are done, uh, they kind of start falling apart. But that's a good thing, that means they're flaky and tender and delicious. They got a nice brown coating on them from the paprika 
and I think they're gonna taste pretty good too in our tacos. So then we're gonna heat up our pan, a new pan, to warm up our tortillas. So then we just cook that up for about a minute or two per side. Nice and warm. Oof, it's hot. All right guys, we are gonna finish making our taco. I'm just gonna make one because I'm gonna eat later. Oh, we're gonna make one beautiful, tasty, delicious taco right now. Let's throw some fish in our tortilla and then add the goodies on top and enjoy. Grab my hands and throw some slaw. It's been pickling for like an hour. And then avocado cream right on top. Beautiful. And now you take a bite. Mm. I'm also doing this on TikTok. If you see my phone, that's why. It's actually really good. Wow. I just, I love the avocado. The slaw is just, uh, it's just, it, it complements it so well. I did put a lot of avocado, but I don't care. I like avocado. Uh, um, it's fine. Mm. Yeah, and the fish is like flaky. Has a really nice seasoning on the outside with the cumin and the paprika and stuff like that. I say that's another successful Anabite video. We got awesome fish tacos from Sims that turned out quite delicious. Probably the best fit, well I mean I've never made fish tacos so I can say these are the best fish tacos I've ever made. Yay! You want some? I'll have the recipe up on my website as well as all the other recipes I've done. They'll be on the cooking blog page. I'll link it in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know what recipes you want me to cook. Anything from Sims, anything from any video game. Doesn't have to be Sims, but that's just kind of the series we started with. So we're going to move on probably soon to some Fallout or Skyrim or World of Warcraft stuff. So if you have any ideas from those games, please let me know. I'm going to finish my taco and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And we'll see you very, very soon.